Hey. That was nice. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Beans, and we're in the building with some more fire for y'all. You guys have been asking what the best animations, what the best dunk packages, what the best badges are to put on a big man, but guess what? We got it for you right here. But wait, 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 wait. The first, first thing you must do is have the right build. Um, this is this specifically is for a glass cleaner finisher. It can go for other builds too, maybe an interior finisher, but it's not the same amount of badges. So you're gonna be having questions here and there with the best ones. I'm gonna try and explain what the best ones are for you. But if you haven't checked out my last video, it is how to make this build. So make this build if you can. Get crazy on the VC. Go hit up whatever you need to hit up to get that VC and let's get this build made. Glass cleaner finisher, step-by-step -step tutorial for you. This one here, I'm gonna explain the best badges for you, the best animations to put on your guy, and that is how we're gonna do it. Right here on the screen, you guys see proof. Without any type of visual, visual or evidence, you know, word means nothing. This is living proof of what this build can do. He can do everything. He's a combination of a Kevin Garnett, a young Blake Griffin, Sean Kemp, Shaquille O'Neal, LeBron James, he's a hybrid. The only thing this build can't do is shoot. But if you follow these badges, these are the best badges to run and the best animations. You're gonna get everything you're seeing on the screen and maybe even more. But I'm setting you guys up for success. It's gonna help you guys in the best way possible. Now, I've already given you the build and here I'm about to give you the badges and the animations. So let's get it going. This is the finishing badges. You get 16, one, six, and 30 on this build. If you make them correctly, follow the video properly. So now I put Acrobat on gold, Contact Finisher on gold, Fancy Footwork on gold, Relentless Finisher on silver, Slithery Finisher on silver, and Showtime on gold. Now I'm going to explain it. Showtime and pair the badge. If you get it higher, it means you made the build wrong. On a pure red, you only get gold. Your point guards will thank you later. Everybody on the team will thank you later. Every flashy dunk you do will give them a boost to the takeover. So they will thank you. Trust me, you want to run this. Acrobat's going to help you with your high degree layups, your reverse layups, your spin layups, your spin dunks, your reverse dunks, all that kind of stuff that's going to help you with. Fancy forward's going to help you, me primarily with my hop steps. I love the hop step from time to time. It'll help you with that. Contact finisher speaks for itself. Get your contact dunks up, your contact layups. I don't really want contact layups. I want contact dunks. So that's what I use that for. Relentless finisher will help you. It goes hand in hand with contact finisher. It's when you're constantly getting... Uh, contact at the rim, it'll help you with your fatigue and slithery finish that speaks for itself as well. It'll help you with your euros, help you with being elusive when your guy, you know, later in the game might be a little tired, it'll help you get elusive. But you know what this build is made for, it's made to go and crank on people. So be ready for that. Make sure you run these badges. These are the most important 16 finishing badges you can put. We get one shooting, shooting doesn't really matter. So, you know, I, I'm not really gonna go ahead and tell you guys what to put it on, put it on what you want when you unlock it. Playmaking, I only get six, you only get six on this build. Unpluckable and quick first step both on goal. Quick first step's gonna help you out of your uh, three, point, three point stance. And uh, unpluckable obviously as it stands for, you, you just won't get plucked as much as you could do. And if you don't run it, you will see a difference. 30 defensive badges, this is where we come clutch. We run box on silver. We run brick wall on Hall of Fame. We run rebound chaser Hall of Fame. Rim protector Hall of Fame. Clamps Hall of Fame, Intimidator Hall of Fame, Interceptor Gold, Chase Down Bronze, Lightning on Silver, and Pogo on, on Silver. Interceptor speaks for itself. It's going to help you get them interceptions. Uh, this is the way I did it. I set it up this specific way, but there's different ways you can do it. So I'm going to go Interceptor Gold, Interceptor helps you get it. You can also do it like this where you take down Chase Down and put on Lightning Reflexes. Lightning Reflexes helps you mightily. But this is how I set it up, and it's been working fine for me, and this is the way I like it. It helps you for the twos and threes, for the ones court. Not so much you'd have to alter them around, but this is specifically for twos and threes, which is the main game modes I'll be playing. So, inter Lightning Reflexes works hand-in-hand -hand with uh, Interceptor, as well as Pickpocket if you're going to run that. But Lightning Reflexes helps you read and react and grab steals or loose balls. It helps you move quicker. Uh, brick Wall helps you with your screens. Obviously, you guys know this. Uh, clamps will help you guard guard up on the perimeter. Rim Protector is going to help you get some blocks at the rim. And this is how you get Snatch Blocks. If you do not have Rim Protector on, this is one of the most important badges. You will not get Snatch Blocks. Rebound chases speaks for itself. Hall of Fame is what I run it on. You need as many rebounds as you can. As a big man, your job is to get them boards. Do the dirty work. Get them blocks. Set them big boy screens. 
pogo stick for all you jumpers out there. I love to jump. So if you don't have pogo stick on, it's not going to work well for you. Understand pogo stick is a really important one. We're going to go slide over now to the animations, which is really important. I'm not going to show you the prices and all that. I'm going to just show you which ones to equip. Obviously, jump shots is not important to me. Like if you go up and down here, I haven't changed. I haven't touched a single thing. So don't worry about the shots. Dribble move, same thing. You don't need it. I haven't touched it. I do based off what I was given. Now, if we're going to go over here to um, park dunks and layups, I, I run playground. You don't have to. I like playground because I like to fool around from time to time. So make sure if you want it off, you turn it off. You don't have to run it. I run it. I think it's funny. All right. Park alley-oops. All these park alley-oops right here. So these are the three that I purchased and put on. You want park alley-oop one, park alley-oop two, and a Jordan Kilogon dunk package or uh, alley-oop package. Make sure you guys equip those. These are going to help for some nasty alleys nasty alleys like back in the in the intro when you saw my dude put his arm in the rim that is how you get this so make sure you run those layups we're gonna run long athlete just like anything else when you purchase this make sure you guys are actually equipping it right shaquille o'neal is our first dunk pack and shaquille o'neal is imperative every big whether you even have a glass finisher or a paint piece or whatnot you need shaquille o'neal dwight howard dwight howard speaks for itself it's also another good um uh, dunk package straight arm tomahawks is our next one and you see what straight arm tomahawks do it makes a slower guy look fast even though this build is speedy as heck so sidearm tomahawks are next as well uh we got big man tomahawks off one make sure you guys are really 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 copying this as we go big man baseline reverses comes clutch baseline reverses are always always good to have no matter what build you're on it helps you get out of a pickle sometimes Big man back scratches, another one. I, this could get blocked, people. Some people don't like it. I, I get pretty good animations out of this. I get pretty good animations out of this. Athletic hangs off two, under basket um, flushes, and then Vince Carter. Now listen, your alley oops go to the bottom. Make sure you guys go to the bottom when you're doing this. You need your pro alleys, your elite alleys, your pro contact, your elite contact, and your pro big contact. If you don't equip these, you won't have them. You might get contact done from time to time, but you need to make sure that you have these equipped. If they're not equipped, you won't get them. Elite contact dunks, all of them. Make sure you go through each of these and make sure they're equipped. Just like all the dunks, you can't just buy them and then expect to have them. You gotta equip them in the right manner. If you don't have them equipped, you won't have it. So these is what you guys need to run on the glass cleaner finisher. This will make you unstoppable. Make sure you have all these up to snub. You need all these, perfect. Once you have all this, you're a step closer to where you need to be in regards to becoming an elite big man. And I think everybody in here who's watching this video just needs to take notes. Like I said, make sure you guys follow this step by step. You're switching around badges, switching around animations. You're not going to get the same animations that we have on screen. With that being said, though, I think um, I just want to take this time to thank everybody who's watched this video. Use this. Uh, I thought this was useful. Leave me some comments down below on what videos you guys want to see next. One of which I will be doing, like I said, is the big man school. I'm going to be teaching you guys step by step how to do and what to do as a big man. For beginners, I'll do an intermediate and an advanced. We're going to get it started off like that. So I just want to thank everybody who's tuned into this. Make sure you leave a like, a comment, like I said, and a subscribe. Appreciate everybody for the continued support. Team Beans on top, and I'm out.